so infection of the plants continues after the structure of the plant viruses because most of the plant viruses which are the rod shaped or maybe they are the isometric shapes now how the transmission of the viruses from the one plant to another plant or from the one cell to another cell happened because the transmission is not the same way as well as the animals are concerned the plant virus should have evolved some other ways for to transmit the viruses from one plant to another plant or the plant because it is not easy for the plants and plants are not moved from one place to another so we can see them different ways of the transmission of the viruses uh, from the plants for first of all is the most important is the through sap what is sap viruses can be spread by direct transfer of sap by contact of the wounded plants with the healthy one how this direct plant direct contact will be happens this direct contact will be happened because of the wounded the virus will be uh, act upon on the wounded plants the wound of the plants is very common for the agricultural practices is we are using some kinds of the pesticides or we are using some different uh, tools to shape the our agricultural uh, our uh, our plants so the plants will be injured very easily similarly they can be injured because of the animals animals grazing the plants will be injured or they may be injured because of some other physical way so through sap the physical way the uh, viruses can be transmitted from one to other other agricultural practices is by damage caused by the tools or hands or naturally or by the animal feeding the most common example of the transmission of the viruses through saps is the tobacco mosaic virus which was the first uh, first virus first plant virus to be discovered then the cucumber mosaic virus is also an example of the um, uh, uh, transmission of the viruses through the sap and then the potato viruses are also spread in this way then the insects which are the most common way of the transmission of the viruses from one plant to the another plant because insects act as a vector plants are unable to move from one place to another place therefore the insects will be using as a intermediate vectors so in this way some of the viruses have even evolved themselves and they are even uh, able to be replicated inside the insects and then uh, cause a disease in the plants plant viruses need to be transmitted by a vector most common the common vector are the insects or the leaf hoppers the example for such kind of the viruses are the rhabdoviridae has been proposed to be actually the insect viruses that have evolved even evolved replicate in the plants the nematodes then the transmission can also be happen through the nematodes nematodes are the parasites the round worm parasites and uh, which uh, feed uh, sometimes which they are going to feed on the uh, plants so the transmission can also happen through the nematodes the nematodes the round worms they are feeding on the one plant and then they are going to the other plant soil borne nematodes also have been shown to transmit the viruses they acquire and transmit them by feeding on infected roots because the nematodes are normally infect uh, feeding on the roots so if the roots are infected with some of the virus they are fed on one virus and then they are can very easily able to spread or transmit the disease to an other plant which are they are going to feed they can also be transmitted through non persistently and persistently but there is no evidence that being able to replicate in the nematodes as we have already seen that there are some of the viruses that they are even able to replicate in the insects however they can be persistently or non persistently may be transmitted through the nematodes but at this moment until now there is no evidence that they are able to replicate even in the nematodes the examples for such kind of the transmission are the tobacco ring spot virus and the tobacco rattle virus so both of them are the tobacco viruses which are able the examples we have given here which we have provided those examples which are able to be transmitted through the nematodes then the plasmodiophorids the plasmodiophorids are the genera transmitted both persistently and non persistently by soil borne zoosporic protozoa these are the protozoa these protozoa are non phytopathogenic themselves but are the parasitic so these uh, protozoa are also can transmit the disease just like the nematodes they can also transmit it persistently or maybe they can uh, transmit non persistently transmission of the virus take place when they become associated with the plant roots of course they are fed by the plant roots example is the polymyxia graminis and the polymyxia bt
Plant migration is transmitted from the generation to generation occurs in about 20% of the plants. This is the transmission through the seeds which is happened in about 20% of the plants. When viruses are transmitted by the seeds, the seed is infected in the degenerative cells. So, the, it's very easily from the generation to generation the plant viruses can be transmitted and it is about 20 percent and it is through the seed of the same, uh, same uh, plant. There is no correlation between the location of the seeds on the plants and chances of its being infection because uh, of course the uh, infection is already present in the seed and you can just plant the seed anywhere and the disease may be occurs. Examples of such a transmission are the leguminosa, solanicea, compositia and the uh, rosca cucubitia and graminea. These are the families which can be transmitted through the seeds. So, about 20 percent of the diseases are uh, transmitted through this. Beam common mosaic is also trying to be transmitted through the seeds. A direct plant to human transmission. In the paper mild mortal virus may move from the infection human. This is very rare and highly unlikely event, but this can cause the disease and then the disease can cause from the plants to the human beings. How the disease can be caused from the plants, the, the virus, how the plant virus is capable of causing the disease from the plants to the human being. The possibility is that virus does not infect the human cells directly, but the naked RNA will be alter the function of the cells through the mechanism similar to the RNA interference in which the presence of certain RNA sequences can turn the genes off and on and in this way it is capable of causing the disease in that specific uh, human beings.